How would you like to gain 10, 15, even 20 yards off your drives with a very simple trick? Now, one of the misconceptions I had for a long time is that if I'm gonna hit this driver well, if I'm gonna hit it right down the middle of the fairway, I need to pull the driver through the golf ball. I mean, why wouldn't I wanna do that? The fairway's straight ahead. I want my golf ball to go that way. Shouldn't I be pulling the club through the golf ball in a straight line toward the target? That's what I thought. It actually cost me a lot of distance. Now, you may be doing this if you're getting weak shots that kind of fade off to the right. You feel like you're swinging hard and not getting a lot of club head speed. That pulling action is gonna cause this face to open up and lose a lot of distance. When you do draw the ball, it ends up being a snap hook, and we'll talk about why that is here in a second. All right, so first let's get into why pulling through the golf ball is not a very good idea. And the reason is, if you think about how you pull this club, if I'm gonna go ahead and pull this handle forward, where does the club actually go? It wants to lag back behind. So the harder I pull, the more my club works back this way. And the reason is, if I'm putting force in this handle going toward the target, the club head or the center mass of that club wants to line up with it. So the club's wanting to do this and actually kick backwards like that. At the same time, when that happens, you may notice how the club face actually opens up a little bit. If I just pull it straight ahead, the club face kind of opens as it rises. That's gonna be that weak shot that kind of falls out to the right. Now the opposite of this would be, what if instead of pulling ahead, I have a little bit of lag in this golf club and I actually pull up. Well now all of a sudden that's gonna get the club to whip on through. So I'm not actually dragging this club forward. I'm just pulling this handle straight up and that's getting that club to really whip on through there. That's what's called a moment of force and it creates a moment arm that creates a whip of the golf club. And if I'm doing this with the club coming from the inside or kind of lagging in behind or in the slot as a lot of people call that, now I can pull up and through and get that club to really whip around and it actually wants the face to square on up. It makes it easier for the face to close down and square up through the golf shot. So that idea of pulling the handle straight ahead ends up leaving the club wanting to come behind me, the face to open up, and now all of a sudden I hit those weak blocks to the right. So again, let me show you that, and this time I'm really gonna exaggerate, pulling the handle ahead, you'll see how that face opens, and again, that's gonna kinda end up in that weak shot that went out to the right, again, another one in the water. Although I'm not trying to kill those, you can see how that's really not getting much on it. So what's the right way to do it? Let me walk you through it step by step here. First, we wanna get the club which is in the slot or coming in for a little bit from behind us. So what that means is I wanna feel like this club head actually is behind my body. So as I'm starting down, the club for me feels like it's falling behind my body this way. I'm letting gravity, I'm letting the momentum of the club fall this way at first. And then as I turn through the shot, what's gonna help me to actually whip this club through there is focusing on my left shoulder. This is the trick that I want you guys to do. As you get that club to feel like it falls in, now your left shoulder is in front of your body. It's on this side of the golf, in this side of your body toward the golf ball. As I turn my shoulder back up and in, that gets my club, just like we talked about when it whips on through there, that gets the handle of my club to turn back up and in. And since my club's from the inside, now it's gonna whip on through and it's gonna be easier to get that draw. So that all comes from this left shoulder action. I wanna feel like my left shoulder goes up this way and if you're looking from the down the line view, I wanna feel like my shoulder goes back this way. Imagine a swing plane here. My shoulder's going back up and around that swing plane. And since my club's from the inside, it's really gonna whip on through there. So notice how all I'm feeling like as I'm turning on through, my club is whipping on out. It's actually coming inside out, promoting a little bit of a draw. So if I have that one simple trick, I feel like I focus in on this left shoulder and I turn it, once I get that club dropped to the inside, I turn it up and around as hard as I can you're gonna result with some nice draws, some really powerful shots. Man, you're gonna have a lot of fun driving it farther.